there you go and you awesome humans welcome once again to one coin only we are here for a big evening now we got about five hours worth of super mario brothers 3 content we're going to be doing super mario 3 mix i'm really excited because it's already been six weeks which means i can play this game again it's freaking awesome this is the best mario 3 hack of all time and uh for those of you who've not seen super mario brothers 3 mix before it's quite simple this is every Mario game up till 2014 put inside the Mario Brothers 3 engine. It's all sorts of awesome. It usually takes me about three and a half hours to beat. And uh, after we do Super Mario Brothers 3 Mix, we got a little bonus game as well. And uh, so that's what we're doing today. Big thank you again for coming in. We got Sean in the house. We got Gamma V, the lady herself. Thank you very much for everything you do, Gamma V. Thanks for coming in. We got Sexy Princess. And we got Captain BS over on the YouTube. Uh, on Facebook, we have Dave. Thank you, Dave, for looking out. We got JJ, we got uh, Jan, we got Dale. Uh, we got Jessica there, we got Kevin, we got Michael. We got John, we got Payron. Guys, thank you again for the Hangouts. I know how much you love this game, Gamma V. Uh, you know, it honestly feels like yesterday. Um, it feels like just yesterday that I played this hack, because the last time I played this hack, I was chatting with you as well, Gamma, but, uh... Yeah, I had a look through my game lineup, and I was like, wow. It really has been six weeks. It's, I tell you what, it's just been such a quick end of year. But I'm excited that I can play this game again today, guys. So this is what we're going to do. And, uh, all right, we're going to go to this uh, empty save, save file. <clears throat> Sean the Great Gamer and says, by the way, you guess what? You're a legendary gamer now. Well, some bish, brother. <laughs> well done. All right, let's get into this. So, how is everyone doing? Oh, there you go. JJ says he'd love to see the Deadpool hack stream soon. Uh, yeah, I will do it as a bonus game. JJ, I appreciate you. I just keep forgetting. It's not that I don't want to do it, because I have done it on stream before. Um, I'll get to it, my brother. I'll get to it. I still have your message in my inbox, actually. I'm going to go back through it. You just keep on my back, JJ, until I do it, huh? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Hey, Theo says, is that Ralph Marchio? Bro, I'm sexier than Mal Ralph Marchio. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How you doing there, Alex? We got Alex in the business. Good to see you, Alex. Thank you for coming in. Hope you're doing well. How is your Friday evening going so far, guys? You, you might be wondering why our boy D-Wayne is not here. Uh, D-Wayne is not streaming on Fridays or Saturdays anymore. He's going to focus on the other job. So uh, D-Wayne's going to be on uh, Tuesdays. Uh, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, uh, with the uh, exception of special events, just so you guys know. So, I'm going to be taking the reins a little bit more on the weekends, just so he can uh, not be so exhausted while he's working. As you guys know, D-Wayne's got a day job as well, so. Um, hey, God, we got Nemanja in the house. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. We got Jason here too. Good to see you. And Kevin says he's working for a great brand tonight. Band tonight. So we got Alex and Katie over on the YouTube. Good to see both you guys. And Dave says you're waiting to watch Friday Night Smackdown. I forgot that was tonight. Oh, speaking of wrestling, how's this for big news, guys? Uh, NXT beat AEW by 100,000 viewers this week. I tell you what, I, I, you know what, the fans are... Wow, I tell you what, we've got a war in our hands. You know, it started off with AEW dominating, and now NXT's catching back up on the Wednesday Night Wars. How you going, Wes? It's good to see you. And have I ever done the GG uh, Giga Mario hack? No, I haven't actually, my friend. You'll have to let me know about it, though. I'm always keen for new Mario hacks. Gamma says you're kind of hoping to see D-Wayne do more of your hacks tomorrow. Um... I think Mario, uh, D-Wayne's now probably going to do the Mario hacks. Let me just think for a second, Gamma. Um, so what did I say D-Wayne's on? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. D-Wayne's probably going to be doing the Mario World stuff now if, uh, on Tuesdays. I have a chat with him, Gamma. He's still going to get the stuff on. Uh, it's just not going to be a weekend anymore. At least not for the time being. That will change in the future. Just things are really hectic over Christmas, you know. Lex says, are we a, am I a big wrestling fan? Yeah, absolutely, Lex. We've got a lot of wrestling fans here at One Coin Only. It's like pretty much all we freaking talk about. Well, that's not true. We talk about lots of stuff, but wrestling usually makes up about 50% of the conversation. Oh, Mario, you little bitch. Sorry. 
<laughs> have I ever heard the bread gang hang outside any clubs I DJ at? I can't say I have, unfortunately, Jason. No, not me, sir. Hey, we got hey, we got Voxney Gaming in the house. Hashtag Blind Gamer Awareness. Good to see you, Voxney. It's been a little while, Jigger. I'm doing really well, man. As I said, guys, it doesn't matter if you guys are here every week, every day, every month, every year. As long as when you do come by, you're having a good time, we appreciate ya. And Sexy Princess says, D Wayne's not on the weekends anymore, only on Sundays late at night, Sexy Princess. He's still on four days a week, nothing's really changing there, just the schedule. <clears throat> it says, What Mario is this? Oh, this is Mario 3 Mix. If you want to know more about what this is about, uh, read the description, guys. I will explain it every now and then. But, uh, you know, obviously I'm going to get a new pe person come in asking every two seconds. So I'll, I'll let you guys know again in the future. I, I just don't want to be a broken record. But yeah, everything you need to know is in the description. Uh, the short story is it's essentially every Mario game in the Mario 3 engine. That, that's a very short answer. Um... And Alex, Katie wants to know if there's any ladies in my life. I don't really have time for dating anymore. I'm too busy and I'm too poor. So they're, they're two things that are not valuable to a woman. So I don't think I'm going to date again for a very long time. We're going to leave it at that. And Jam wants to know if I've seen the Rise of the Skywalker yet. No, that's still on the to-do list. Yeah, what did you guys think of Rise of the Skywalker without any spoilers, of course? How are you going, Steven? Good to see you. And again, if I'm missing any comments, guys, please forgive me. I'm going to do my absolute best here. You guys are always amazing on the engagement. But yeah, as I said, guys, the only cost of joining us for a one-coin-only stream is a like on the video. And uh, how you going? we got Quiet Josh in the business. Thank you very much for hanging out. But you know what, Gamma V? I know if it's a small constellation, I'll still do Mario stuff most weekends. So, uh... You know, hope, hopefully I'll be a good consolation prize. How you going, Jennifer? You just walked in and heard you say Mario, you little bit. <laughs> we got a little Foxy Mayhem in the house as well. Good to see you, Amanda. Thanks for coming in. I'm getting my ass absolutely handed to me at the moment. There we go. Now we're just going to get this little mushroom, bish. Ah! Oh! oh, that is all sorts of bullcrap. Oh, you mother... Looking bitch. Sorry, I'm just getting really angry now, aren't I? <laughs> uh, John thinks the new Star Wars movie was great. I've heard most people say it's pretty good. I've had a couple people... I've heard a couple people bitch about it. I guess it's all subjective at the end of the day, right? You hate flying cheap, cheap levels. I don't like them none that much either. Here we go, we're gonna save from here. Alright, guys. Get oh, damn you, you cheap, cheap, cheap cheeps. Oh, there we go. Come on, we can do this, Rick. I do have a safe state at that other... Oh, gosh. Get out of there! Alright, we made it, guys. Ah, I didn't like that level at all. <laughs> oh, boy. Gamma V says you're waiting for War of Cybertron Siege on Netflix next year. Well, when is that going to come out? Oh, let's go this little mini castle, huh? And then Gareth says he's back. He also likes a new Star Wars movie. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I mean, that's that's what it's about at the end of the day. Wait, we're going to go down one of these pipes, I think. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, now what's happening here? Yeah. How you going, April? It's wonderful to have you, girl. Thank you for coming by. Alright, back over here. Yeah. And then Jen says you're seeing the movie again tomorrow night. Oh, wait, so we got Big Mario. Oh, that's luck. Oh, well, what's the point of getting a Big Mario when you run into a Goomba? Absolutely freaking nothing. Let's get another one. <laughs> oh. At least the difficulty on this is not balls to the wall. I know I, the, the power-up mushrooms, at the very least, in this game are somewhat uh, forgiving. They, they seem to be everywhere. So I can kind of handle that. All right, we're going to go in here. Oh, really, Steven? And then, so, Adam also says he saw Rise of the Skywalker. Good to hear, bro. I'm going to just try and shoot this guy. He takes about 400 bullets, so... It's all right. We can handle this. Oh, maybe not. I don't know how many 
times you have to shoot him, but this is kind of a pain. How many times you have to shoot him? I want to beat at least one of these guys with bullets. I've shot him like what seems like forever already. Come on. There we go. We finally got him. After all that trouble, we only got 100 points as well. <laughs> you just got done packing stuff you tomorrow night for Phoenix for Christmas and New Year's April. So tell us more about your uh, New Year's plans. Hey, good to see you, Drew. Thank you for coming in. Oh, Gamma V says you really appreciate the difficulty on this one. I feel like this one for a casual player like me, especially when I'm trying to run a stream in a chat, is very, very forgiving. But, you know, it's... I feel like the challenge in this game is like, okay, I died, it's my fault, not because of cheap level design, you know what I mean? The hammer would take him out in four hits, you think? You don't think you've ever tried to use fireballs? Because most of the time I always get killed before I, uh, manage to land enough. It's a little bit tedious. They, they should have maybe... Half the amount of hits that Bowser needed to take, but you know, whatever. <laughs> How you going, Brian? Good to see you. We've got Bill in here. Bill says he's been a little bit under the weather. I hope you're feeling better, my brother. Gareth says, how much have you missed so far? Oh, dude, we've been on for what? 10 minutes? 13 minutes? After, yeah, probably 10 minutes after the intros, brother. You've missed nothing. We're on the first world still. And then Wes says you got to go DJ a party on New Year's. DJ, yeah, New Year's parties are sometimes a bomb diggity, brother. I'm not doing anything for New Year. Oh, that's good to know, Justin. <clears throat> Jason says last year you got trashed and watched streamers for New Year's. Won some stuff, had a blast. Last year I DJed a big gig in the, in the city. And then I came home absolutely wasted and, and streamed about three hours for you guys. Last New Year was pretty awesome. <laughs> Ah, oh. coming, coming, still coming to terms with the fact I'm not DJing anymore, but I know it's it was the right decision. And so Gamma V says your mum's made a New Year's resolution for you. You have to cut out soda. You're almost 36, but you're you have severe Aspergers. Uh, do you feel like the soda affects it? Do you? I didn't know the soda had an adverse effect on uh, Aspergers, but you know what? There, there's a lot of negative Nancys out there that are like. Uh, you're doing a New Year's resolution. You should just do a resolution any time of the year. You know, make positive change today. And, you know, while that is somewhat true, I think if you need to use New Year's as a catalyst for positive change, uh, people shouldn't tell you otherwise, you know what I mean? Like, if, if that's when you want to make a positive change and think that's when you can be motivated to do so, then get it done, you know what I mean? I don't want all this negative nonsense. <clears throat> And, uh, David says you're watching while eating Taco Bell. And Wes says you were DJing last year, ended up in the hospital, and you weren't even drinking. We have to go back here. Sorry, guys. I accidentally didn't do a safe state before. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even realize that. Well, shit, mate. Maybe I'd be a lot calmer if I, I drank less caffeine, too. You know I survive off energy drinks. No wonder I rage and I'm so high-strung every day. <laughs> That is very, very true, Jim, and I'm scared I'm going to get those, because I do drink a lot of soda. Good to see you too, Enrique. Thank you for coming by. Well, you know, there's not one size fits all, Justin. I guess everybody's different. All right, there we go. We finally got it, guys. Josh says you're getting yourself a pizza. Well, there we are. All right, so we're back here. <clears throat> And we got Jeremy back in the business. I'm doing well, thank you, Sumbish. How you doing today, Jeremy? And uh, once again, guys, if you enjoy our streams, I just ask that you give us a like or possibly a share. We really appreciate that. All incredibly helpful to us. I forgot to grab the one coin. Yeah, I'm not after the bonus coins in this. I'm not a completionist. I'm just looking to beat the levels. You know what I mean? I, I, I get really... If I start concentrating on finding hidden coins, I start to get really frustrated, you know what I mean? I'm just like, oh... You know, it's, we'll, you know we'll get one. There you go, I got one of them. <laughs> Alright. She has a right to... You can't fight her on... I'm sorry to hear, girl. That's not cool. Yeah, where are we going? Where's this thing going? It's just flying all over the place. Uh, I guess we can avoid level 4 if we don't need to be there. 
Hey, how you going, Randy? Good to see you again, brother. And Tommy's in here. Tommy says, how's it going today? A lot better now, Tommy. We've got your company, sir. <laughs> I'm doing alright, thank you very much. <clears throat> and then Don says, how can you play this game? That's a very, very good question. If you want to get a copy of this game, guys, you can go on a, a page called romhacking.net. And you need to look for a game called Super Mario Bros. 3 Mix. So that's uh, romhacking.net and the game's called Super Mario Bros. 3 Mix. Apart from that, that's all you really need to know. You do need to patch the ROM yourself, but that's pretty straightforward. <clears throat> oh, there we go. So I've got to find a P brick here again. I just got to remember where it is. Can, and, and Felicia says, can you play this on a tablet? If you end up... You can, but I don't know how to do it, It would, is the honest answer. I don't know how to set that kind of stuff up. So how do I get underneath? Can, can I... No, I don't know how to get underneath there. We need to get that P-brick somehow. Can I just, like, do a running jump through here? No, so how do I get that... Okay, let's just go in here and we'll figure it out. Oh, that's a new room. I go, hey, how you going, Inu? Good to see you. I'm sorry to hear, girl. I know it can be a little bit frustrating. Some, Oh, crap. All right, let's go. Now I've got to quickly run across, don't I? I'm going to get in those, uh... Just like that. Well, how about that, guys? We did it. Now let's see what's in this one. All right, now which way do I go? Maybe it's this one. Oh, no, it wasn't that one. Well, this is why we use safe states, guys, so in case we go the wrong way, we can do the middle finger in the air and swing your arms like you just don't care. What's in here? All right, let's, let's, see, let's see what's over on here. Maybe we just need to go on this one. I'm not sure. Oh, it looks like this is the exit. That was just confusing for no reason. All right, we got it. <laughs> And Captain BS says, is there any bonus or additional levels for grabbing collectibles in this uh, game? Apparently there is Captain BS. So the answer is I'm almost 100% certain yes. Uh, I just uh, haven't uh, I haven't tried them yet myself. How you going, Tommy? Good to see you. Yeah, share the stream. Yo, big shout out to our friends at Ian Tao Gaming and all our friends as well from uh, the Philippines. Seller Matt, thank you for coming in. Uh, yeah, Jim, Jim was totally like, that was pointless, I know, right? How you going, Tom? Good to see you. Welcome, 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 welcome. So you guys will have to let me know what else you guys are all getting up to this weekend. What's everyone's plans? It sounds like, uh... You've had an incredibly difficult life, Gamma, but I tell you what, girl, you're an incredibly talented game designer, and I hope you can do some more with it with your life. The, the amount of games you've made have uh, made more people happy than you could possibly ever know. <clears throat> Adam Shed, thank you, Adam. Tommy says you're working tomorrow. How, how many hours are you going to put in tomorrow? Do, do I need to come and punch a boss in the dick? <laughs> Again, thank you for the likes and shares, guys. Much appreciated. He's picked up the new Call of Duty. You're fully impressed. And Gamma says you can't make money off those hacks. Yeah, I, I, I know there's not money off... Uh... Have, have you ever thought of doing some, like, uh, of your own development or something? You maybe make a spin-off game to Mario and sell it on Steam or something. <clears throat> Josh, as you work in seafood retail, so you're working forever until Christmas? Ah, uh, dude. I hope you get through it alright, man. I know how frustrating that must be. What else have we got? Can we go through here? I don't know how to get in that area. And, uh, Tommy says you work 10 hours on Saturdays. It's a long shift. Gamma V says you're scared of programming. No, I understand. But you're already programming. You're already making ROM hacks. <laughs> And then uh, Josh says he's working 7 to 7. You got 12, 12 hour days over Christmas, huh? And there we go. We got jo we got multiple Joshes in the room now, guys. You know what that means. 
Does someone want to tell these Joshies what happens when we have two people with the same name enter? Oh, hell yeah, Jim. That's really, really cheap. My GameStop's got a special at the moment where you can get three uh, PS3 games for $15 each. That's $3 each American. So it's still pretty cheap. I've been getting some pretty good titles. You know, like I got all the Batman games and stuff. How you going, James? It's good to see you. Thank you for coming by. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, J Justin, you know what, man? That sounds really, really interesting, but I also don't have an opinion because I don't know enough about it. Two Joshes enter, one leaves. Exactly. We have a death battle rule here, otherwise all you multiple name people get too confusing for me. <laughs> no, I'm only messing. I'm only messing. It's my duty to learn the difference, right? <clears throat> How you going, Daniel? Thank you for coming by. I am doing very well, thank you, Daniel. I guess the big question is, how are you doing, big guy? Hope you're well. And, uh... Ah, oh, I see. So you kind of use a program, and then it's like a copy and paste kind of system, is it? If that's a kind of game development that's for you, Gamma V, uh, there is a, a program called Game Maker 2, or Game Maker Pro, and uh, you can actually make games by cut and paste, uh, you can use JavaScript as well, but you can also make games by cutting and pasting. I, I recommend checking it out. If, if cut and paste is what you prefer to do, definitely give Game Maker a try. That's probably the, the most accessible for you. Have I ever heard of the song called The Phoenix by Fallout Boy? I think I told you the other day, Justin. I know a few Fallout Boy songs, but not that one. <clears throat> so... As I said, guys, no warps today. Uh, we're going to do all eight worlds. So, again, as I said, this hack's going to take us about three and a half to four hours. And then we got our uh, bonus game, yo. So, yeah, lots of fun and games in store today. Yeah, I'd be down for that, Gamma. And then Gamma V says the only Fallout boy she knows is Immortals. Well, what, what, what's the most mainstream... Fallout Boy song. Do you think it's like uh, this ain't a scene? Your son Eric says I big hello to Eric. Hope you're having a wonderful today day today, good sir. Appreciate you coming in. And Theo says, Ricky, do you like Mario Maker? I do. And we're gonna have to do a Mario Maker again stream again soon, aren't we? You know what? I haven't done Mario Maker for freaking ages. Maybe we can do some Mario Maker tonight. I, I don't remember. Th oh crap. Yeah, I don't remember the last time I did a Mario Maker stream. It was probably like a month and a half ago. I want to I wanna see if I can get some of these new Zelda levels that everyone was talking. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to be so rude, guys. It kind of snuck out. Oh, damn it. As I said, I've had too many energy drinks today. This has just been a more, bigger pain than it needs to be right now. No, no, I think you, I think you may have asked Dwayne, but I was in the chat and answered you as well. So I think technically you asked both of us. No, no, we're we're, we're talking about the musician. Yeah, I feel like people either love or hate Fallout Boy, kind of like Nickelback. <laughs> I don't mind Fallout Boy. His songs are catchy as fuck. Anyway, did I just swear? I did. My bad. <clears throat> Hey, we got William in the business. Good to see you, William. William, I'm doing pretty well, thank you, man. I'm just excited to do some Mario games for you guys today. And, uh, you know, Mario's... Uh, D-Wayne's not available today. D-Wayne's got some plans. So I'm his replacement, Rick. How you going, guys? <laughs> I think you should too, Gamma V. I, I think my, my advice for you is to try game makeup because you can make games by click and drag. So, or maybe even try NES Maker. There's a new program that got kickstarted called NES Maker. That could be perfect for you because all the games you make on that are royalty free as well. So, uh, definitely go on Google and check out NES Maker. I think you'd love it. How you going, Anthony? Good to see you. Thank you for hanging out. <clears throat> Thank you, Randy. <laughs> and uh, we got Alexis in here. Good to see you. And then Luther says Nickelback is terrible like gas station sushi. I think I think gas station sushi and pizza 
And I mean, even when it's bad, it's still really good. So I, I guess that's Nickelback. There we go, we got the Mario 2 levels this time. I've got a very special hack of Mario 2 and 3 for you guys, by the way, for Christmas. I can't wait till our Christmas stream. Just want to remind you guys that on Monday US time, D Wayne and I are going to be doing the 12 games of Christmas. And, uh, yeah, we got some Christmas themed Mario and Sonic hacks for you guys. I think you guys will enjoy it. Plus, we'll be doing Die Hard and other stuff. Other Christmassy stuff. Oh, you did an all night stream last night, Anthony, for The Last of Us? How'd you go, brother? Where do I get all my video game and Switch news? Pretty much, dude, if I want to know something, I just Google it. Like, I'll just be like, when is Cuphead 2 coming out on Google? And then I see what articles come up. I literally just type in keywords. I know that sounds basic, Bish, but that's honestly the best way to find things. Yeah, as I said, um... <clears throat> I just think you're incredibly talented, Gamma V, and I'd love to see you give yourself a better life life with your abilities, you know what I mean? I'm a big believer in that. If it wasn't for the fact that I had my own issues, I'd love to be a motivational speaker. And, uh... You remember that D-Wayne playing a Christmas Sonic hat class? Yeah, absolutely! Tis the season, and we also did a Christmas, uh... We did a special Christmas in July stream. Uh, this year as well. I don't know if you guys remember that, but we also did Christmas in July, which I thought was pretty cool. We'll do that again this year as well. Be like Mario. Japan gas station sushi isn't terrible. I saw this big documentary about this this vlogger did like, went through to uh, a 7-Eleven in Japan, and all the food in Japanese 7-Elevens are absolutely gourmet. I don't know, I don't know where our 7-Elevens went wrong, but if you go to a 7-Eleven in Japan. The food all looks amaze balls. So yeah. Oh well there we go. Take take that sunbish out. So yeah. Oh, I got your gamma V. Yeah, you'd you'd have to look into that, huh? And Sean says, like what you see, feel free to like and share. Thank you, brother. Yeah, don't forget guys, also if you're new here, welcome to OneCoin. We'd love to have your followage as well. Uh, just a big reminder, we stream from 7pm every single day until very, very late. And if you become a supporter, we start from 6pm for you guys. As one of your perks, of course. <clears throat> and so what else is happening, guys? Any other news for me? What video games is everyone playing this weekend? I'm, I'm curious to know what kind of games and what consoles everyone's been playing lately. Oh, we're gonna jump on that sunbish. Oh, well that didn't really work out for us, did it? Oh, ducky ducky duck duck. Do we have to jump on another one of these? I think so. Is that gonna... Alright, well that didn't really work out either, did it? Alright, we made it. So is there gonna be like a mushroom over me? Oh, what the fudgety, mate! I totally got ripped off on that mushroom. Joshua says he's playing some Mega Man X times 3. Gosh, I couldn't get into that franchise, hey. I love the vanilla Mega Man games. I almost go as far to say I'm pretty good at vanilla Mega Man. But Mega Man X, forget it. I get exposed. <laughs> oh, you're playing some Black Flag. That's a game and a half, isn't it? Do you guys think Black Flag is the best Assassin's Creed game to ever get released? Wes is doing some Final Fantasy 7, maybe some Gears of War. Don't forget, Commodore's gonna do his very, very famous Final Fantasy 7 complete in one stream for us. Uh, on one coin only over the next few weeks. So he's gonna do a big Final Fantasy 7 marathon. Oh, very nice, Gamma V. Just got that. And then Inu says, right now you're playing Jedi uh, Fallen Order. I really do need to get back into that game. Lewis is playing some Mortal Kombat 11. Drew says it's WWE 2K20 worth 25 bucks. Nah. Oh, what the hell happened there? Honestly, sir, it really isn't. Well, if, you, if, you, if you can get a copy of WWE 2K20 for 15 bucks or less, then maybe consider it. But it's, it's a broken mess of a game. It's just not fun. I mean, it does have a ton of content, but the gameplay is shoddy, and there's glitches, and it's... 
All sorts of diarrhea. I mean, GameSpot gave it 2 out of 10 for a valid reason. Is it the worst game I've... Oh, damn it. Sorry, guys. This is really bad, isn't it? Just need to concentrate for a second. Hey, Jeremy, this is a Mario 3 hack today, bro. Check out the description, bro, and you can find out more about it today. As I said, guys, we've got, we've got good descriptions here. I work very hard on them. But the very short story about this hack is it's basically Mario 3, uh, but it's like all the Mario games up until 2014 recreated in the Mario 3 engine. That's a short story. How you doing there, Mikey? Good to see you. Uh, thank you, man. Right back at you. Appreciate your company today. And guys, we've got an absolute killer room today, especially being Christmas weekend and everything. Thank you so much for your time. Damn! How am I supposed to get through this? We'll work it out. Just stop being shit, Rick, and you'll be okay. Maybe I'm supposed to actually go up that pipe. Yeah. Just be like, man, I'm overthinking these things sometimes. Yeah, the Nightmare says we won't speak about that abomination that is WWE 2K20. Well, quite. <laughs> and then Sean says Ricky Retro World Expo this year. I... Uh, I don't know, Sean. It's a lot of freaking money, brother. It's a lot of, Like, as I said... Okay, here's the cons of coming to Retro World Expo. We get to come and hang out with the fans. I get to see D. Wayne. We get to have a, a good weekend. What's the cons of Retro World Expo? It's going to cost us about five to six grand to set up. And we, it probably won't benefit the page. So literally, it'd just be like a weekend long holiday. So it's like, uh, it's something I have to think about, brother. In a perfect world, I would love to come. Whether it's practical or not is, is what we're still figuring out. And, uh... And Mike says, be patient, bro. You can do it. Yeah, you know what? There are a few things I need to do. I do need to be more patient when I game. 100% agree with you. What you guys need to realize is playing these games while concentrating on two chat windows is incredibly hard as well. You know, I'm not like Deggie, Debbie, the, the mother. That You know what I mean? Like, I always talk about Debbie every stream. Now, Debbie is a mum of three. You know, her husband's off at work. And Deb Debbie's in the kitchen. She's on the... F she's cooking like a... You know, with a saucepan in one hand. And then she's holding the baby in the other hand. And she's talking to her friend Tiffany with a phone stuck between her shoulder and her chin. And then she's opening the oven at the same time with her foot. And uh, all the while, she's making a scrumptious meal. And uh, she's multitasking like an absolute champion. I wish I could do that, but I can't. But uh, I'm doing my absolute best. How you going, Yazid? It's good to see you today. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, sh I should be like Debbie, but Debbie's got some crazy skills. Right, I'm going to get this coin. Gamma V says that sounds fake. What's that? What sounds fake? Did I say something that sounds fake? Oh no, I'm being exposed again. Damn, get that thing. Oh wow, okay, no worries. Rick, just go for a trip. Hashtag blue moon. Yeah, man, we need to have some more blue moons, huh? That's what's up. Oh, no. Come on. Are you fucking serious? Oh, there we go. We got another mushroom at least. I mean, that's a silver lining. And Mike says, you remember back when Super Mario 3 came out? It was really difficult. Damn, you're feeling old. Ah, oh, bro. You're only as old as a girl you... Okay, actually, I can't say that. It's one coin only after... It's not... It's not one coin after dark yet. I'm going to get myself in big trouble. Forget I said that, guys! You can't take it back, Rick. We're live. <laughs> and then Yazid is like, don't die, okay? Well, oh, for fuck's sake, Yazid, you're a jinxer. You're just a frickity jinkity jinxer. Oh my gosh, we're going to get this little sumbish. Take that. Oh, there you go, I missed. How many times we got to get this sunbish? Three times? Oh boy! Alright, well. We're gonna wait for that other thing. Alright, come on. Come on. Oh, there we go, we did it. That was lucky, wasn't it? So, is that the end? Keep streaming for 2020, Enrique. I'm not going anywhere, my brother. 
And then Tommy says he heard nothing about nothing. Well, thank you, Tommy. I actually need to go back here and get this little bonus thingy. Thank you, Yazid. I appreciate that. I'm doing my best. Apparently, Birdo is. It's it's a 2019 Birdo Inu. You know, we 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 gotta be respectful of Birdo's life choice. <laughs> And Yazid says, bro, this game is so old. Alright, well, Yazid, what what games do you like, my friend? We're a classic and a current gaming stream, and we play everything between Mario Brothers and Mortal Kombat 11, my friend. We just like to mix things up here. Please don't tell me you like Fortnite, because there's nothing wrong with Fortnite, but we don't want to be like every other page on the internet, you know what I mean? Like, you know, cut our balls some slack. Oh, not nice, Luther. I hope everything went well. All right, we're gonna go back over them. Yeah, we haven't even scratched the surface. Of Fuck, damn it! What's the point of getting that mushroom if there's death around every freaking uh, corner? Death around every bloody corner, guys. Not today. Mike says you love Super Mario World Yoshi's Island. We would love to get that on a stream. Uh, but D Wayne and myself never grew up with that game, so we're very, very noob at it. I am noob at lots of games I've played, but especially noob at Yoshi's Island. And Gamma V says, you want to make money off YouTube? No, it is 100% possible, Gamma V, and I can teach you how to do it if you want to message me in private. You're forgetting, this is how I make my living, girl. If you want a hand setting up a YouTube and uh, making a little extra pocket money, I can help you, and it'd be an honor to help you, because I, I believe in what you do, so... Um, yeah, message me later. I'll put you on the right track, huh? Oh, there we go. We made it. All right, cool. Ah, stupid sun bish Mario mother bish. <clears throat> Mike says I should definitely try Super Mario World one of these days. I'd like to. It's, it's definitely on the to-do list. And Chris says, wait, this is Mario Three. This is a hack version. Yeah, there's a. It's a hack version. Okay, one more time, guys. We are playing Super Mario Three Mix. And the very short story, this is every Mario game up to until 2014 uh, put into the Mario 3 engine. So you're going to see levels in this from Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario World, uh, Super Mario Land, all, all within this engine. Hey, I'd be so totally down for that, Sean. I'd be totally down. Sexy Princess says, you're from Australia, where is most of your fan base? Probably from Texas, actually. <laughs> no. I, um, most of OneCoin's fan base is actually from the East Coast of the United States, according to the analytics. So, Australia only makes up 5% of my fan base. I kind of, like, I wanted to tap into the Aussie fan base more, but the reality is there's more people in the US. So, I, I was trying to do the smart business decision, and catered to a bigger population. Though I do want to obviously grow my Aussie audience as well. <clears throat> Chris says I'm all done with my Christmas shopping this year. Uh, uh, I'm not doing my Christmas shopping till Monday. I am using an Xbox 360 controller. I'm actually playing this on uh, an emulator, but you can also play this on the NES Mini if you hack it. I do have my NES. It's actually, I actually have an NES Mini and I've not streamed off it before. <laughs> and there, there you go, Sean's like, the East Coast is the best. There we go. I, I'm not trying to start a war here. What, what can we use? Oh, we're going to use the, the Fire Flower. No, I know what you mean. I mean, it, it doesn't hurt to, to get tested, Luther, huh? And just, you know, look out for yourself. Just, just for peace of mind and, you know, start with a clean slate once they tell you your health is good. I'm going to do the same thing myself soon. Uzziah says, when am I going to play God of War again? To be honest, Uzziah, I don't know, my friend. When I feel like it, I guess. Which is when I usually play games. <laughs> Thank you for asking, though. Alright, so we hit that switch. So there should be a hidden pipe around the corner. Ah, damn it. go out. Oh, damn. How do I get... Alright, oh, I'm trying to get up here. Let's try one more time. There we go. We made it. This is a little bit frustrating. Not making this area easy for me, are they? There should be a pipe come up over here. Hopefully. Alright, we got it. 
How you going, Kevin? Thank you very much for coming by. Appreciate you, man. So where do we go now? Just in this one over here? Is that what? Okay, that's it. That's okay, as I will do God of War again when I'm feeling daring. The game's just a bit frustrating for me right now, so I'm mixing things up. Alright, so we're gonna go in these clouds. That's easy enough. Hey, am I allowed to stream Grand Theft Auto? Any chance of the stream in the future? Not only will I be doing Grand Theft Auto 5, but I'll be doing the older ones as well. My goal is to do Grand Theft Auto 5 and number 4 as well. As long as people like to watch number 4. I don't know how that's gonna go. But I'm going to try it out. Alright. Yeah, no, we're, I'm going to try and do uh, Grand Theft Auto in one or two sittings. Oh, there we go. We finally made it. Big thank you once again for coming in for the likes and the shares. You guys are amazing. We're already almost on 100 likes, guys. feel very, very special. Thank you. You like when I play the older games? See, yeah, one coin... We're about 70% old school and 30% new school. And I think at the moment that's a perfect, perfect balance. But when we do play the new games, most of the new games we play are still based on nostalgia. Like we'll do Mortal Kombat 11 or Resident Evil Remake. At the end of the day, they remind people of their childhood still. They're just reboots. Uh, you know, we'll be doing Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Uh, you know, we just like to play good games whether they're old or new. You know, I might do the Batman games, and you know, people remember Batman from their childhood. So, you know, we, even though we do do new games, we try to do the new games that are appropriate for our audience. So, all compromise and stuff. Alright, we're gonna go in here. Oh, I understand Sexy Princess, I just read that. I mean, I mean, you just, uh, take advantage of where most people like to watch you, I guess, huh? And Will says, please stream San Andreas. Oh, dude, I'd love to stream San Andreas. That game can be so freaking hard, though. You know what? Maybe we can just do one stream of San Andreas and we can take it from there. Mike says, your Christmas wishes for Ricky to stay healthy and amazing with his... Thank you, brother. I appreciate that, Mike. I wish that for absolutely everybody as well, though. Not just myself. But thank you for your love, sir. And, uh, Jen... Jen has just sent 150 stars. Jen, thank you very, very, very much for your kind support today, my friend. That's actually the first stars of this stream, so thank you very much. This one's going out to you. That's the most insensitive thing I've ever heard in my life. You don't understand anything, Kevin. You don't understand anything at all. <laughs> thank you, Jen. Much appreciated. Pretty much, Kevin. Pretty much. And uh, welcome back, Alex. Let me just have a quick look here. I'm just going to grab my... Um... Alright, there we are. How's the picture quality and sound, guys? I just want to make sure everything looks okay before we get too much further, by the way. I loved Wonder Years too. I want to go back and watch them all again. <laughs> oh. Luck lucky we've got the fireball, Mario. This is probably going to last all for about two minutes. And... Uh... And Sean says you still can't send stars. I heard a few people having problems with sending stars today. There are known issues with Facebook this weekend, so it's not just you, my brother. But Sean, as I said, I'm just grateful to have your company, man. You don't have to stress out about that kind of thing. Sound looks... In okay, great, Chris. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. You know, I'm, I'm a little bit paranoid, you know? You know, it's funny because if I don't ask, sometimes an hour into the stream, people will be like, Can you turn it up? Can you turn it down? And I'm just like, some bitch, you could have told me this an hour ago, so that's why I ask. <laughs> oh my goodness, Mark with the 50 stars, and Tim with the 400 stars. Well, you know what that means, you guys are going to get double B Arthur. So thank you, Mark. Thank you, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Anyone that's watching One Coin for the first time is probably going to be like, what the fuck? We do crazy stuff like that here. <laughs> what the hell was that, Rick? It's B. Arthur and she's a national treasure. Well, she was. May she rest in peace. So, what's over I'm here? <laughs> Right, let's have a look in this one. 
Is the invite to visit still available? Of course it is, Sean. I need to buy a couch, though. I don't have a couch yet. I need to find somewhere for you to sleep. I'll get a couch or something. We'll have to tidy up the house and everything. And, uh... <clears throat> just try and make it feel a bit more homely for you. And, uh, alright, what's over here? Just concentrating. Give me one second, guys. And then Andy says, B. Arthur was definitely a treasure. I'm... I love the humour, hey. Did everyone know they put Shane McMahon on Law and & Order and he can't act? Wait, was he in a recent episode or something, was he? No, Sean, I want you to be co comfortable, especially if you're spending some time here. I'll take you to the, the nightclub I used to work at as well. We'll have some beers there and stuff. Alright, we're gonna... Oh crap, I forgot about that. Mikey with 200 stars! Mikey, oh man! My baby takes the morning train! Thank you, Mikey. Mikey, much love for the 200 stars, brother! <laughs> Katie's favourite show on YouTube is apparently Golden Girls. There's certainly worse shows you could be watching. Oh, blow that sunbish up. Alright, we got you. That's one. Thank you again, Mikey. Ah, damn it! Let's see if we can throw that over here. Come on, get him! That's two. I, don't, I can't remember if we... Oh, crap! I always forget about that one. Fuck. Oh, my bad. All right, back over here. How are you going there, Sabrina? Welcome in today. Thank you for hanging out with us, my friend. So, that's all right. We always got to attack him on the left-hand side. There we go. Like this. Like this, like that. Alex says he wants to come party with one coin as well. I don't party often, but when I do party, I go freaking mental, guys. Most of my life is pretty boring, but when I do go hard, I go hard. It's like I'm making up for lost time. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Mikey with another 50 stars. You're dropping this like it's hot, brother. Thank you, Mikey. This is the full game, Bianca. And guys, we've also got my real life brother. In here, Matthew, love you, bro. I hope you and my sister and the family are going great. How you doing today, man? I can't wait to see you at Christmas. Matt, I was just telling everyone in here before, I haven't had a single beer since I got back from Thailand two and a half months ago. So you need to get me absolutely hammered on Christmas Day. I'm just saying. <laughs> How you going? We got Joseph on YouTube. It's, it's the one and only day I'm having off, Matt, so I need to get absolutely freaking shit-faced on Christmas. It's the Aussie way, guys. It's not Christmas in Australia unless you have 500 beers. <laughs> oh. So, Gemma says you're fan- Yeah, I mean, of course. I mean, I mean that's just- I mean, I aim towards the US as well, because reality, re reality is that's where the biggest gaming market is. I think the biggest gaming markets in the world are like in the US and Mexico. It's just a shame that I don't speak Spanish as well, otherwise I would tap into that market too. Hey, there we go, we got my sister in here too. Love you, Megan, good to see you. Everyone in here is like, Megan, when are you coming back on the channel? When are you coming back on the channel? And I'm like, my sister's too famous now, she can't come on the channel. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll have to get you back soon, Meg. And, uh... The Gamma V says you don't drink, you're probably better off, but I'm an immature person. <laughs> there you go, sis. After Christmas, we'll get you back on the show, huh? I'm gonna exploit my sister for a reality TV fame again. <laughs> and, and Jeremy says, honestly, this game looks hard. This, I mean, this game is a little bit of a challenge, but to be honest, I'm just straight up garbage as well. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's a little bit of both. Alright, we just gotta quickly get this sunbish. We've gotta hit Mr. Froggy here three times. No, that's okay, Gamma. 
Hey, there's no judgment here. Live and let live. We all have our quirks and our way of doing things. I appreciate you, Gamma, as a human being at the end of the day, and that's all that matters in the end, huh? Oh, yeah, that's gonna happen. I'm gonna get you to come on and play some Zelda or something, Sean, I think. I know how much you love Zelda. Damn it. You'll have to do maybe some Ocarina of Time or something. There we go. Come on, get that prick. Alright, we got him. It's all over. Now, Matthew and Megan, did you share the stream? I'll be very, very disappointed if my brother and sister didn't even share the stream. Share the stream, yo! <laughs> Joseph, I don't play Borderlands 3. I've only got the old ones, my man. Hey, we got Manu's Gaming Fest in the house. Good to see you, Amanda. Much love to you, girl. Thank you for coming in, meowdy do. Oh, we've almost got a hundred awesome sumbishes in here. And we're up to World 3, so it's only going to get harder for... As I said, we're doing all eight worlds today. And, uh... Yeah, just a big reminder, just to everyone that's come in just for the first time today, big welcome. Uh, this game is Mario Brothers 3, but it's got every other Mario game up until 2014 recreated in the Mario 3 engine. So this is a, as you can see, this is a, a Super Mario Land level here. And, uh, dude, step your game up. Steve, you think I'm sucking too much, huh? Well, if I was about to say a very one coin after dark thing, but I... Oh, Megan sent me 150 stars. Look at this. Sis, thank you so much. Megan with the 150 stars. You know what I'm going to need to do? I'm going to need to make a, 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 a my sister in a cutscene. My famous sister. <laughs> thank you so much, girl. I'm going to find a really cool episode, and I'm going to turn you into a thank you screen. I, I'm going to exploit my sister. Thank you, girl. <laughs> oh, gosh. Have you ever looked at your videos? I haven't looked at your videos actually yet, Gamma V, so I'll check them out and I'll be honest, but you know, I'm not I'm not a negative guy, Gamma V. I, I, I can constructively help you if there's anything that you need to improve. You know, I'm not all about making people feel bad about themselves, you know what I mean? <laughs> Going towards my Christmas beer, you got it. I'll pick up a carton and bring it over. And Dave says it's party time up and yaw. It is indeed. What else is happening, guys? Any other news you got for me? What do you all think of this hack? How many of you guys have seen me play this one before? Now, where else do we go? Is there like a... Oh, there we go. There's just a pipe over there. That wasn't so bad. Now I'm going to replace the energy drink I just had with some water. Because I'm, uh... Oh my goodness, there we go, we got that one. That feels a lot better now. Thank you, Chris, I appreciate you, man. It's kind of w strange to see you on at this time, Chris. You're usually uh, at work still or something, aren't you? I usually see you on the late night. Well, you're probably sleeping at this time. Thank you for coming in again, Chris. Dave says you like the hacks I do. A big shout out as well, once again, to Gamma V. Uh, who's watching on YouTube. She's very, very famous in the Super Mario World uh, community for all the games that she makes. So, uh, it's uh, an absolute privilege to be around video game uh, royalty today. Thank you again for always coming in, Gamma. And, uh, hey, we've got Wesley in the house. Good to see you, Wes. Thank you for hanging out with us today. I hope you're doing good. Welcome to the stream, good sir. Chris says you're on holidays for seven days. Oh, I see. What are you getting up to with your Christmas break? And Enrique says, when are you going to play again with your sister? Uh, as I said, I'm going to try and get Megan on uh, once a month. Now, now D-Wayne's doing four days a week instead of five. That's going to free up a time slot to get Meg on. So, uh, yeah, we're going to um, we're going to get Megan on once a month after Christmas. I've got to get Megan to play some Streets of Rage, huh? Uh, it would be... I don't think Megan's ever played Streets of Rage before. We'll have to get her to jump on. It's alright, Meg. I'll carry you. <laughs> alright, we did this. 
As I said, we're going to be on this Mario stream for about five hours, guys. So, grab yourselves your favorite snack. We ain't going nowhere. Chris says you've never seen this hack before. It's pretty amazing. Love how it has a lot of the music uh, from uh, other Mario games. Yeah, man. I mean, that's exactly the point with this one. It takes inspiration from the whole franchise, not just like a, a single... Ah, uh, damn mother... Bitch. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Yeah, guys, if you're enjoying the content, give us a follow, guys. Don't forget we stream every single day uh, from uh, 7 p.m. until late. And if you become a supporter, one of the perks is uh, getting our VIP streams and we actually start earlier uh, in private for you guys. How do you get this game, Benny? You can get this game from a place called romhacking.net. As well as uh, a bunch of other awesome, cool Mario hacks. And James says, what do I think about the Fallen Order game? Uh, I love it. I think it's really, really difficult. But for people that like platform puzzlers, it's perfect. It's almost the perfect game. It's definitely the best Star Wars games I've... You know, I, I don't have any experience with Knights of the Old Republic, but it's probably the best Star Wars game since Knights of the Old Republic. Because I did do the new Battlefield games, and they were kind of like, eh. But this, this Fallen Order is a pretty sweet game. They did a really good job. Damn, mother bitch! No, that's okay, sexy princess. I'm just happy you can make it when you can make it. You know, I, 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 I get it. I'm on a lot later than what D-Wayne is. I don't expect everyone to watch. D-Wayne's the star. I'm just kind of like, you know... You know, D-Wayne's D -Wayne, D like the ice cream sundae. All I do is put the cherry on top. <laughs> it still won't let you mod? Sean, I sent you an invite, brother. I'll, I'll cancel the invite and send it again after the stream. But it's all sent, dude. And, uh, there we go. Sabrina's part of the 200 Club. Congratulations. Thank you, James. No worries, brother. Let's go back over here. Oh, no. Oh, well, that sucks to be me, doesn't it? All right, let's try this again. This is a freaking pain in the dick level. Excuse my language. <laughs> Yeah, and you know that's there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I I'm I'm uh I'm proud uh, that one coin only is my creation, but uh, I'm not I'm not trying to to be the superstar or anything. It's all about legacy. At the end of the day, you know we provide quality content, and uh, you know people enjoy what we do. That's what makes me happy. That's a big picture at the end of the day. You know, it's it's more than just myself. Much more than just myself. We're gonna, all right, we're gonna go back over here. This is really hard. Give me a sec, guys. How you going, Bianca? Good to see you again. Thank you for joining us. And uh... oh my gosh, I keep getting stuck. All right, one sec, guys. I'm sorry. Right, I'm gonna save from here again. This is really freaking the mechanic in the water and having to j jump at the same time. Is oh my gosh, a freaking gun? Are you serious? Oh, this mechanic is terrible. Now jump on that plat- Oh, fuck off. Are you kidding me? Just land on that brick, Rick. You have one job. Ah! Oh! Land on the fucking brick, Rick. What is your problem? Oh, my gosh. Done. There we go. Now can you finish this level now, Rick, please? Frick, I hate that stage. Let's never do it again. Oh, my goodness. How you going, Malcolm? Good to- Ah! Good to see you, Malcolm. There you go, the rage is strong with this one. Thank you, Mikey. It's good to have you, brother. Thank appreciate you coming in. Hey, Andrew, good to see you, man. Thank you very much. How's it going down under? Oh, you know, it's the same. We're drinking big, big cans of Fosters here, and uh, what else are we doing? We're drinking Fosters. Our toilets are, are swirling the opposite direction as usual, you know, just all that kind of thing. <laughs> now what? Alright, we got this. How about you? What's going on with you, man? 
Oh, Uncle Ricky done gave way to Raging Ricky. I know. I'm a I'm a terrible, terrible uncle. Now, 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 my niece and nephews are gonna go back to mum and dad, and they're gonna ask what half the colourful language I say means, and I'll have a lot to answer for at Christmas. It's really my own fault. Thank you, Jared. <laughs> oh my gosh. We, you go, you know, that's gonna probably go straight on the next clip video, isn't it? That's fine. Steven says not enough. Bro, you're a hard taskmaster. I feel like I'm doing small time stand up at a, a comedy or club, and Steve, you're the one guy at the back going, Boo! You suck, boo! You know, there's always that one heckler. <laughs> and Rami says, Can we talk Star Wars? No, I respectfully ask that you guys don't give away any Star Wars spoilers because uh, most people here, including myself, have not seen it yet. Oh, damn. Okay, well, I rushed that one too much, didn't I? It's alright, guys. I'll get better in a minute. In a minute. At least you don't use the C word like copious amounts like your countrymen. Yeah, I know. I mean, look, as I said, using the C-bomb in Australia is actually a term of endearment. But if you say it in the United States, I get it. People lose their freaking minds. So, I've, I've been streaming uh, for about... Two and a half years on one coin only, and probably only used the C bomb two or three times. So you have to know that one coin only is incredibly pissed off if he's going to drop a C bomb. I'm just saying. Alright, I need to reload this again. Hold up, wait a minute. Jared with the 50 stars, thank you. Can you talk about how Chewbacca gets married? No, you can't. One sec, one sec, boys and girls. Alright, we got. Oh my gosh, now what? Alright, let's do this again. Jared, thank you for the 50 stars, man. I'll be right with you. Gonna do the jumpy, jumpy... Fuck! Gonna do the jumpy, jumpy ones again. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy! Alright, we got it. Jared, thank you for the 50 stars. This one's going out to you. What can we give to Jared this time? Mirica! Appreciate that, sir. That is so awesome. Much love to you, man. Uh, Captain BS just asked me what did I think about all the views I got on uh, YouTube last night. For those of you who don't know, technically we got our record on YouTube. Uh, we had up to about 332 people watching at once on YouTube last night for my late night stream. So I don't know if like a celebrity shared out my page or what. But um, it turns out, unfortunately, guys, that I think it was a glitch. Because I went back to the total views earlier. And it was substantially less than that, Captain BS. So I think YouTube glitched out. And I don't think I really had those 332 people, unfortunately. But it was still nice. Dave says he likes the Team America movie. Fuck yeah. See what I did there? <laughs> oh, so what else is going on, guys? Again, I can't thank you all enough for hanging out on this glorious weekend with me. And it is glorious. We're living, we're breathing. The Resident Evil game's already too scary for you. Ah, oh, number two's a classic, man. I love it. I just love splattering good zombie guts everywhere. We, we, we did it in my quickest time, though. All things considered, I really didn't use many safe states, if any. And I managed to beat Resident Evil 2 in the, under two and a half hours last night, if you take out the intro. So, uh, yeah, we, we got Resident Evil 2 done really quick last night. So I was pretty proud of that. I, I, I think we can get it to two hours eventually. One tube only while well, we yeah. are. There we go. <laughs> it's only right, eh? I know. Well, you know, it's halfway through Saturday in Australia already. It's like uh, 20 past 11 in the morning Saturday here. I keep forgetting about time zones and such. Oh, there we go. So we got like another Super Mario Land level here. Gla damn, wretched glitches. Yeah, so here I was thinking I was good and, you know... <laughs> Hey, Garrett, it's good to see you. Thank you for coming in, bro, Seth. This one's a bit... Uh, oh, excuse me. There you go. I just did a Barney Gumble, guys. This one's a bit dark, isn't it? Let's try and jump underneath. Oh, yeah, you know, I don't... I mean, I want to... See, my one downfall is my cursing. But as I said, I do want to be a, a good role model 
So I'm trying to behave as much as I can for the kids. You know, but sometimes I'm just much too naughty. But I do want to be a good role model. You know, I feel like if you're in the public eye, you kind of have a, a little bit of a responsibility to give back. So I want to do the right thing, you know? Let's have a look here. <clears throat> oh, I see, Adam. Gotcha. Yeah, man, there's a few people that this is... Uh, I would argue that this is the best hack out there of... Uh, I mean, there are a few very good ones, but I think this is the best hack of um, Super Mario Bros. 3 out there. Are they doing a sequel for Team America? I don't know if, if people in 2019 could handle that, to be honest, Adam. I'd love to see it myself personally. I'd love to see it by per myself personally. I don't know if it's possible. Why do it seems like Trey Parker and... Uh, Matt Stone get away with anything they bloody well please, huh? Oh, there we go. So we're just going to go back out and we'll go here. Come on, knock that sumbish. There we go, we got him. That's two. Oh, thanks, Sean. <laughs> yeah, Adam says you'd love to see me or D Wayne play this game. Oh, what, what, you mean play this together? Because I'm already playing the game. I think I, think I might have missed something. Oh, you bastard. Mother bitch bastard. Alright, hang on. This is a lot harder than what it looks like, seriously. Oh, there we go. Is that all three? It is. We got it. Adam says not in China. Well, yeah, they've got strict internet laws over there, don't they? I'm sure that'll change in the future. I'm sure they'll progress with the rest of the world. It's a shame, uh... Mind you... Uh, I think you can go to China and still use a VPN, right? But if you get caught, I don't know what the punishment is. Probably quite severe. Oh, so Adam says you were talking about this version of Mario Brothers. I'd love to see D-Wayne give this a try. I've seen D-Wayne play a lot harder versions of Mario Brothers than this. I think if D-Wayne did this, he'd be perfectly fine. He'd probably do better than me. I do, I do think... Uh, Mario Brothers is uh, D Wayne's a more talented Mario guy because some of those uh, Mario World hacks he does are freaking balls hard. I'd rage quit. <laughs> oh, I understand. Okay, I got your Snaggletooth Gaming, no problem. All right, well that's good to know, I guess. Oh shit balls. Oh, what happened there? You died, Rick. That's what happened. It pretty much is. Man, Matthew says, when's our Destiny hookup? Whenever you want, bro, uh, in the evening when, I, when I'm not streaming. Um, I've been practicing, so I'm ready to go. I've done the, the initial few missions. I've done a few heroics. I've done uh, a Vanguard. And also, because I played Destiny 1, I managed to get a 750-point character straight away. I think I'm up to, like, 793 now. So I I'm ready to go. So when, when you want to play, you'll have to carry me, but... Oh yeah, no, we, we can talk after the stream. No problem, Sean. If you get caught in China with a VPN, you're not a citizen, you can kiss your butt goodbye. Really? I did not know. Damn. And then Daniel says he's been trying to get me to play Destiny for a while. I don't know if our crowd would like me. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll try it one time. Maybe I can do a Destiny stream late at night. But, uh... You know, when you've got... As I said, I'm trying to stay away from what millions of other streamers are doing, you know. The Call of Duty... I'm trying to stay away from, like, the Call of Duty, the Fortnite, the Apex, the Dead by Daylight, the Destiny 2. Just the really ultra, ultra, ultra mainstream stuff that everyone's doing. I'm just trying to offer an alternative. I don't want to look like I'm selling out, you know what I mean? But we can probably do Destiny 2 one day on stream. Exactly. I think it'd be good to do a few raids as a once-off for anyone that hasn't seen it, but I kind of do agree with you, Mike. But I do kind of find that gameplay relaxing in my own time. Like, I, I just like shooting stuff, you know? I think I think Destiny's one of those games that's more fun to play than it is to watch. What do you guys think? Anthem, what streamers are playing that? Yeah, well... 
I can get Anthem for a couple dollars now. That's how much it's been reduced. I think Anthem's like ten dollars at the suit in the in the department store. There was an advertisement up for Anthem at JB Hi-Fi. They were selling it for four bucks Australian, which is like three US. That's brand new. How you going, Theo? Good to see you. Uh, I'm doing all right in the heat wave, thank you, Theo. It's uh, I'm in my air conditioning in here. I think I'm gonna regret it once I see my bill for the month, but uh. I'm relatively comfortable in my room, thank you, sir. Hey, thank you, Phil, I appreciate that. So, uh, yeah, just one more time, guys. If you're enjoying the stream, all I ask is you give us a big thumbs up. Shares are appreciated, too. And let's see what we got in here. Yeah, we got Firestar Heart, that's right. Our friend Firestar Heart from the old YouTube. Check out the page, guys. Yeah, you know we're we're in the southern hemisphere and everything, so it's our southern uh, so it's our summertime. Yeah, Daniel, I'd like that. I'd like to have a a a a, a, a team to play with when I'm uh, because you know I like to relax in my own time with Destiny. You know what I mean? So it's one of the games that I go to when I just want to chill out on my bed because I don't do a lot of games in my own time these days. Well, when I do, I'm usually practicing something for the stream, like Tekken 7 or whatever, you know. Hey, you going, Vegito? Good to see you. How are you traveling? Just gotta... Oh, fuckity! I just need to concentrate here, guys. Sorry. Yeah, see, that's... Breath of the Wild streams never really have big numbers. Not that I see. Oh, Tim says you're playing Dead Island. Dead Island's good. I like Dead Island. Oh, there's so many Mario 3 hacks. Like, if you, there's, I mean, there's a whole treasure trove out there on the internet. The most hacked Mario game, though, is Super Mario World, I think. Oh, there we go. We got this, guys. Better late than never, huh? As I always say, the early bird gets the worm, guys, but the late snake takes the cake. Fuckity is right. Yes. We need to jump on these bullets and land on his head. There we go. That's one. Hey, Timmy. Thank you, man. Timmy says, have I ever played Dead Island? Absolutely, I actually own that on PC and on PlayStation 4, sir. I've got Dead Island, I've got Dead Island uh, Riptide, and apparently Dead Island 2 got announced like six years ago and we've still been waiting on the sequel. Hopefully we end up getting this Dead Island 2 game we were promised. The big rumor was that the Dead Island 2 was gonna be based in California. But uh, I think the developers pulled out and they had to start again or something. Apparently it's still coming. How you going, Richard? Good to see you. Thank you for hanging out. So this one's going out to you, Tim. Sorry, brother. Uh, this, uh, here we go. Timmy, this is for you. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, hang on, hang on. What are we fighting about? Oh, Sean, I would appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. All right, well, three done. Just five more to go. I mean, that's not much, is it? <laughs> Just cracking my back. I really need to get a massage, guys. It's already been six months. And no, not that type of massage before you say anything. I mean a proper sports massage. Got too many uh, kinks in my back. <laughs> hey, welcome in, Frizy. Thank you for coming in. Glad you could make the stream today, sir. Well, let's do this. Oh, so as you can see, these levels now sort of mimic uh, Super Mario World. Pretty cool to see Yoshi in... Uh, a Super Mario 3 game, right? This is like probably one of the highlights for me. Oh, you too, Chris. Thank you again for hanging out, man. You have a good shift. I appreciate you, bro, Seth. No, not yet. See, well, I, I, I did deliberately didn't say that, Sean. Thank you for letting the whole class know. <laughs> thank you, thank you for letting the whole class know. All right, there we go. That's the first one. That was easy. Alright. And so don't forget, guys, we are streaming live today on uh, both Facebook and YouTube. Uh, you guys can watch on the platform of, your, platform of your choosing, which is why we stream on both. And uh, also, guys, don't forget, pinned in the comments is our new online store. We've just relaunched, and uh, we've got a new range of clothing. We've got both men's and women's. We've got a new design up, especially for the ladies as well. 
So uh, it's all there on the link too. And uh, Trizy says, sorry you're late. You're looking at your car after your wreck, bro. I'm sorry, dude. How you, you, is everything all right? What happened, sir? Right back at you, Brandon. What's been going on, brother? Lot been going on in your end of the world, huh? Man, I'm just grateful to have you come visit when you got the time, man. I really appreciate ya. It's not one coin after dark yet. We're getting there, though. Yeah, sports massages are the best. You know, the, what, what people don't realize is if you can get an affordable massage, you should do it because it gets all the toxins out of your body. You know, especially when I'm sitting in the same position uh, in this chair every single day, I think a massage would be really useful. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you're safe. That's the main thing, bro. Sorry you went through all that, though, Fryzy. Hey, we got Niani in the house. Come, Musta. Welcome back, a big shout out to Nyani and of course our friends from Ian Taoyao Gaming. And because I was picking my nose, I just lost. Oh no, I forgot to use the safe state. Now I have to go back here. That's really stupid, isn't it? It's alright guys, we'll catch up. My nose is really itchy. But when you're live, you can't like... Oh, it's alright. I'm gonna. We're all family here. If I need to pick it, I will. <laughs> Oh, there we go. We're gonna go down one of these pipes in a sec, huh? It's alright, guys. I've almost made it. There you go, Timmy! Timmy's actually a part of almost the 1000 Club, but unfortunately his membership reset, which is very unfair. We all know how long you've really been here, Tim, so don't worry. Matt says he doesn't get why I'm... Wow! Matt, Matt on YouTube says he doesn't get why Mario is smiling. Mario's just a happy guy. Is there any... Is there something wrong with being happy, Matt? Is there something wrong with being happy? Life is too short to not be happy. <laughs> there you go, Tommy's in the 600 club. As I said, uh, one coin only has almost been around for 1,000 days, which is absolutely crazy. I, I still can't believe that. That's a long time. 1,000 days sounds like more than two and a half years, doesn't it? You had a shrimp uh, linguine and later chopped salad from the restaurant called Corner Bakery. Anyone else eating at this Corner Bakery place? Nathan, good to see you. Nathan says, oh Jesus. Nathan says, sorry you haven't watched, you had a stroke. Man, you just take care of your health. That's all good, man. Nathan with 100 stars. And Terry with 200 stars. Absolutely, Terry. That's great advice. Be happy. This is going out to you guys. Thank you so much for the support today. Oh, Brandon, I'm just grateful that you're in here, man. When you want to become a supporter again, you can. I'm not... As I said, in a perfect world, I'd love everyone to be a supporter of one coin only. But I do respect that people have their own life to live, bills to pay things to take care of. It's appreciated, but it's never an obligation. As I always say, guys, and I truly mean it when I say it, the most valuable thing in life is time. And uh, you guys give me so much of it every day. And uh, at the end of the day, that's what's going to help us grow and succeed. So, you know, it's all about the big picture, guys. It's not about, oh, I need your money. You know, I mean, we appreciate it, but I never want you to ever think it's expected. And, um... Yeah, so I just always want to put that across. We don't want to get misunderstood, you know. And, uh... Oh, thank you, Brandon. Man, but you know what? I appreciate you too, man, for the reasons I just said as well, you know. You know, I do get a... You know, I, we do get a lot of hate on one coin only for uh, the fact that we make a little for playing video games. And I just want to be an example to people that it is okay to, to, to make a little of what you love to do. It's just such a shame. I feel like a lot of people around the world think in order to be working, you have to hate what you do. 
and I really sort of want to be like a catalyst in changing that mindset. Uh, it's, it's, it's absolutely okay to make a living, uh, doing what you love, and you shouldn't have people make you feel guilty for that, you know what I mean? So, it's kind of, uh, where I stand on that one, too. David says this is a cool game, but anyway, we're gonna go on to more, uh, happy things now. And Sexy Princess says, how do the 3D levels work in this? That is a really good question, uh, Sexy Princess. Um, they're actually recreated in 2D style in this particular game. So they're, they're redone in 2D. Alright, I'm gonna try and duck down here. Thank you, yeah, thank you for the compliment, by the way, Dave. Is there anything up there we can grab? Oh, I think that's probably... I know what's up there, a coin. Well, you know what? I'm just going to go grab that coin just so I can show and prove to everyone how clever I am. So let's go flying up here. I bet you there's a coin up here. Look at this, guys. I did it all by myself. Wait, where is that sunbish coin, mate? Is there a coin over here or what? You could say... Wait. Did I go all the way over here for fucking nothing? Oh, well, that's... Okay, here it is. I was going to be like, there better be a freaking coin here or there's going to be trouble. I was really, I was going to get real pissed off for a sec. There you go, almost wasted like 30 seconds of my life. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We, we got that coin, everyone. Everything's okay. So any other news you got for me today, guys? I always like to know what's going on with the Sunbish Army. Hey, Steven, good to see you. Welcome, 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 welcome. And uh, I think you are already here in the VIP stream, weren't you? Did, was it the VIP stream or here you said hello earlier? Either way, good to see you back, brother. Yeah, man. I mean, Sean, I've got a lot of people that hate on me, but I've not changed or I'm not doing any different. Like... The only, the only thing I'm guilty of is, like, working my ass off, you know? <laughs> it's like, I, I've not cheated or taken any shortcuts or anything. But again, I want to talk about more positive things. I just don't get the mindset of some people. I'm still trying to, still trying to understand. I'm going to go back over here. Oh, no, I'm not going into anything like that. It's just like, you know, unfortunately, it doesn't matter if you're streaming or you're an entertainer uh, or, uh, you know, you're an athlete or anything in the entertainment industry. You just, you do have to put up with that stuff. It's unfortunately just one of those things. I just don't understand the mentality behind it. Or, well, you know. But, you know, it's time to kill people with kindness. So I want to set a positive example. Oh, there we go. We got this next one. Anyway, geez, we're talking about some deep stuff, huh? I don't want to don't want to kill the mood of the stream, man. <laughs> we're going to continue on. We're going to make this game our bitch today. And, uh... Thank you, Timmy. And right back at you, man. Timmy with the big 100 stars. Much love to you. And, uh, we're gonna do the Batman dance this time, Timmy. You shake a pretty mean cake, Batman. It's nothing. It's... Thank you, Timmy. Much appreciated, brother. And, uh, hey, we got Super Sign on YouTube. Good to see you. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, and I hate it. That should always be the focus at the end of the day. Should always be the people that come in that are kind and all that. But, you know, the, the way I explain it, guys, is human beings are built for defense. And you could have, like, 99% of people that uh, genuinely love your content, support your content, want you to succeed. But that 1%, uh, you know, as I said, humans are built for defense. So you shouldn't focus on the negative. But as I said, back from, like, primal days, we were built for survival. And, uh, you know, if, if someone's attacking you, you're going to have your guard up. You know, it's just, uh, it, you know, it's more human nature than anything. I mean, you can turn it off, but it takes a lot of practice. I think we need to go all the way back to the other side. <clears throat> hey, 
Hey, Davo, we've got Davo on YouTube. Thank you for coming in. Sorry, guys, I'm just looking for this pipe. I think if we go all the way back to the beginning, uh, this pipe is going to pop out, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just trying to double check. Oh, there it is. All right, thank goodness. We got it. And, uh, all right. No, I'm fine, William. As I said, I just want to be a positive example. I'm not, I don't hate on anybody. Brandon says he's just looking for his pipe. Not that type of pipe. <laughs> not that type of pipe. You know, any type, if you mention any other type of pipe, chances are it's going to be very rude. Very rude or very inappropriate. We're not talk Okay, we're going to drop this pipe conversation. <laughs> My niece and nephew watch this stream. We don't mean to be making pipe references today. We're going to go in here. Oh, Chris, congratulations. Chris is finally taking his baby home from the hospital. I'm so happy for you, man. Well done, brother. Well done, my man. I'm so happy that you're going to have the family together again, so that's epic. This world's not so bad, actually. As I said, the one thing I really, really enjoy about this hack, guys, is at the very least when you die playing this game, it's usually because you've done something stupid, uh, not because of, like, shoddy level design. I think the level design in this game is almost perfect. Hey, walkie going, Pingasm? Good to see you. Dare I ask what a Pingasm is? <laughs> All right, there we go. So we're going to do this mini game again. What's a pingasm? Hey, we got Commodore. How was the rest of your stream? Commodore just finished the stream with our good friends at over at uh, Global Stream Machine. Big thank you for coming in, good sir. How'd the prize giveaway go? Who won the prize? I didn't win, did I? I didn't want the prize anyway. I was going to give it away. Your niece and nephews love me, Rick. You let them watch this sometimes because they aren't allowed on Facebook. I can pretty much warn you, to any of you guys that have kids that like to watch the gaming streams, I can pretty much warn you which games are going to be ragey or not in advance. <laughs> James says, if you got to ask what a pingasm is, you can't afford it. That's true, I, I probably can't afford it. Uh, oh, what the hell? Oh no, we have to do this mini game again. That was a bit clumsy, wasn't it? My bad. Sorry, everybody. Da, 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 da. All right, let's try again. Brandon says you have three kids that watch me. I hope I haven't taught them too many swear words. <laughs> it's nice. To, it's nice to know that the fam. I like. I like that uh, the families come in here together. You know, like, you know, you can be like, this is what I used to play when I was a kid, and then you know the kids will be like, oh really? And you can sort of like bond over this stuff. It's really nice. I like it. Where are we gonna go? Oh wait, we're gonna go underneath this one. All right. Well, there we go. Wait, do we keep running this side? Oh, wait, there's another pea brick. Oh, this is a runny, runny pea brick, brick level. I get it. Oh, shit balls! Let's try this again. All right, so we're going to run all the way over here, yeah, I think. All right, come on, Rick, you can do it. Oh, shit, mother fish balls again. All right, hang on, hold up, wait a minute. All right, come on, Rick, you can do it. Ah, see, the floatiness of the... <sighs> Try again. I'll be I'll be with you guys. The floatiness here is what kind of puts you off, actually. Yeah, the floatiness of the jump mechanics are really tough. There we go. We got it. Finally. How you going, Jerry? Good to see you. Thank you for coming by, good sir. How you, how you hanging? Oh, there we go. Oh, you got the NES slowdown in this section, huh? Oh, there we go. Is this the end? No, not yet. All right, so we're all saved again. I think we just got to go to the top now. No big deal. Oh, okay. No, that's not it. Can't one coin. You can do it. We did it. Is this the end? Oh, boy. Oh, shit balls. All right, we're going to go up here this time. Oh, extra life. I think there's just an exit around. Oh, damn you. I think there's just an exit around the corner and that's it. We did it. That castle's all over and done with, guys. 
Hey, how old is your oldest, by the way, Brandon? No, oh, that's okay. Hey, I mean, I grew up with a household full of swearing. My dad won't admit it, but dad swore a lot. Not as much as me. My auntie used to swear at plenty. Like, my auntie swore a lot. <laughs> How you going, Sean? Good to see you. Welcome, 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 welcome. Hope you're having a wonderful day. He is nine. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's nothing. By the time you're nine years old, let's be honest, it's nothing you're not going to hear in the schoolyard anyway. We all like to pretend our kids are all sweet and innocent. But we all know that by the time they get to third and fourth grade, the kids are dropping F-bombs like it's going out of fashion. So it's like, yeah, I, I get ya. <laughs> How you doing, Hound Doom? Good to have you. Learnt behaviour really is. I think swearing's definitely learnt behaviour. But you can't avoid it, as I said, schoolyard and everything. You can only be encouraged not to use that language yourself. So, Brent, oh, that's it. I mean, you know what? Fair enough. So, my friend Brandon here is from Ireland, and, uh... Yeah, I mean, there's only one nation on Earth that I think that, uh, swears more than Australians, and it's actually the Irish. So, you've, you've certainly put that in perspective. <laughs> I think, I think only Ireland can probably beat us on the swearing. <laughs> And Ryan says, is Power Rangers The Grid a great game? Yeah, it's a really neat fighting game. I recommend picking it up when it's on sale. It's, an, it's a nice little game to have. Not my, not my favourite fighting game, but I do really enjoy it. It surprised me. And Mark says, your nephew says, I enjoys the stream. Thank you very much. And don't forget, guys, share the stream, yo! Black Plague, give me now! That's going out to our friends at Ian Tao Gaming, of course. <laughs> Another page you should all follow. Jerry, I'm doing good, man. Thank you very much. How are you traveling, Jerry? <laughs> oh, yes. And who, who do you think the third nation is? The English are probably in third place. <laughs> Joe Pesci? Oh, yeah. I'll, uh, Joe Pesci's awesome. Those those old gangster actors are go getting on a bit, huh? They've been around the block for a while already. How old is Joe Pesci now? He has to be well into his 70s. Jerry says you're doing just fine. Good to hear. You like Father Ted? Oh, I haven't seen the show Father Ted in a long time. I used to watch that when I was a kid. It used to be on cable. I love that type of Irish accent. I think just like Aussie comedy, like, I think our Aussie accent adds to the comedy. I think it's the same thing with Irish comedy as well. You know, I feel like the accent complements it too. <laughs> you had to diagnose and fix a network problem was what you... Oh, that's, that's alright, man. Sean, don't forget, guys, no matter what's going on in your life, it doesn't matter if you're 20, 30, 40, 50, or 60. It's never too late to turn things around. It's only too late when you're in a, in a bedridden in a nursing home. Until then, it's never too late. Yeah, I'm surprised Battle of the Grid wasn't more popular. I think it's a pretty neat game. The, the story mode falls a little bit flat, but the combat's quite, kind of nice. Have I seen The Irishman on Netflix? Everyone's been telling me about it, but I haven't seen that yet. Still still on the, the to-do list. We have to go back over here. Oh, goodness. I'm gonna go jumpy jumpy on this bad boy for a little minute. There you go, guys. Can you believe it? We're almost halfway through this game. How long have we been playing now? Hour and a half? We're, we're making pretty good time at the moment, guys. As I said, I, I'm still expecting to beat this uh, in about three and a half hours, hopefully, today. That's that's the aim, anyway. Oh, there we go. We made it. Lucky. Hey, we've got Ron Moa over on uh, YouTube as well. Thank you for coming in. Okay, so Sean asked me a good question. Sean says, Ricky, what's your favorite modern side-scrolling beat-em-up? There is a few, like there's Raging Justice. Uh, what else is there? There's the Takeover. 
Um, there's also like uh, the new Double Dragon games. Uh, what else is there? There's also Fight and Rage. I think Fight and Rage is pretty good. Uh, it doesn't get a lot of popularity when I stream it, but I think this, for the sheer amount of content and the gameplay, I think Fight and Rage is is probably the best uh, side modern beat em up. It's on all platforms as well. Have you guys played Fight and Rage before? Is hype on The Witcher this evening? Yeah, I've heard a few people talk about that. There we go, we got this one up. How about that? Ron, I'm doing alright, man. We're just trying to focus on this Mario Brother hack, which is now starting to get a little tricky now that we're at the halfway point. There's shit CGI in The Witcher. Well, I mean, that's what's going to happen when you've got it in a TV series and not a movie. There's only so much money, I guess. Yeah, Streets of Rage 2 is like my favourite of all time, but he said, what's your favourite modern one? But I, I think Streets of Rage 4 is going to be fantastic. I'm super hyped. Damn it, mother bish. Right, let's do this again. Oh, on that Retro Arch emulator. I use the Retro Arch emulator from time to time as well, but I don't... The difference between me and D-Wayne is he like streams every game from there, so he flicks through them. Uh, I, I usually use a different system. But yeah, Retro Arch is awesome. I like to use it too. Alright, so we gotta throw our little shells at this sunbish. We can do it. Oh, damn, I pressed the wrong freaking button again. That, that'd be... There we go. Come on, one more time. There you are. Oh, I, I, I never ended up getting a chance to try Scott Pilgrim, unfortunately, because it got, uh, once I heard about that game, it was already delisted. Again, it was a digital-only game, unfortunately. It's a shame it never came out in the physical disc. Damn, all right, let's try this again. If you can get a PlayStation 3 emulator working, apparently it plays online. I mean, apparently it plays on PC. Damn it! Fuck you, man! Oh my gosh! I'm trying to focus here, this is really hard. Damn it, alright, get over here. Oh, there we go, we go. Oh, he's gonna do that three times, huh? One more time, come on, one coin. We did it, is that it? Oh gosh, that level was really pissing me off. Oh, I don't think Double Dragon on the NES was a bad game. I think every other version of Double Dragon 3 was crap, but I think the one on NES was okay, Ron. Not perfect, but okay. Alright guys, we're done. Sorry about my swearing and carrying on. And as I said, just one more time guys, if you're enjoying the content and you're new here guys, give us a follow. We stream every day, old school and new school. And uh, also, guys, don't forget, if you know anyone that wants to watch, uh, you know, any NES groups, any Mario groups, any cartoon groups, give us a share. Get, get some new blood in here. That's how we grow. Double Dragon versus Battletoads was... I think the NES version of Double Dragon and Battletoads is really good. I think the 16-bit versions were more tedious than they were fun. So, uh, that's, yeah. Uh, D-Wayne's done every version of, uh, Double Dragon vs. Battletoads on the, on our channel, actually. Going way back, though. It's been a while since he's played it. I think he'll get it on again soon. Double Dragon Neon's pretty good. I also really enjoyed Double Dragon 4, which is a modern remake. The only, the only Double Dragon game that bores me a little bit now is Super Double Dragon, just because of the pacing. But, I mean, it's still a good game. No, I don't think so. I mean, games are all subjective, huh, Brandon? Games are all subjective at the end of the day. As I said, like, I, I found the NES one that was the only one to be playable for me. But we already know how much I suck at games. Did you ever end up beating it? Oh, I can't swallow this water. Oh, gosh. For some reason, the water wasn't going down. 
I had like a blockage there or something. Something just chilling out in my throat. Yeah, I think it's still on the PSN. It's on the Switch as well, Sean. Hey, how you doing there, Carl? Good to see you, Carl. <laughs> Hope you're having a wonderful day, man. Thank you for hanging out with us. So the PSV UE is shutting down next month. Which one is that one, Zana? <clears throat> yeah, me too, Ron. You know, I'm not really good at games either, only a handful, but I get away with it because, you know, safe states save lives. Modern technology helps me be a streamer. Thanks to modern technology and all the little shortcuts you can take, I can stream. So, big, big thank you to the, the creators of these emulators with safe states. <laughs> Now you're in a winning luck, it's been rough. You've had a tough time of it lately, Steve. You'll have to let me know what's been going on. As I said, I just want everyone to feel happy and blessed over the Christmas season. Ron says, that's how you beat Ninja Gaiden for NES in a live stream. I've been up to the final boss on live stream. I couldn't beat him. I, I don't get it. Yeah, you know, that is very, very true. I, I totally respect that, uh, Brandon, you know what I mean? I don't try to pretend that I'm an expert or that I'm better than anyone. I sometimes get competitive on a select few games. That's just more for comical reasons. <laughs> Thank you, Maddie. Much appreciated, dude. Thank you so much. Oh, there we go. We made another one, guys. We're out of here. We are out of here. All done. So as I said, I am going to come on with a late night stream as well tonight, most likely, guys. I just don't 100% know uh, what game I'm going to do for the late night yet. Uh, I was practicing Batman Arkham Asylum, which I'd be keen to do. I just don't know if after these five hours if I'm going to be too tired for that game or not. Because, you know, after you've been streaming for six hours, if you're going to play again, you kind of want to just sometimes do something chill, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'll, I'll most likely definitely come on with something afterwards for a couple hours. Yeah, no, I've done Cuphead before. Absolutely, I actually love playing Cuphead. Um, the only reason I don't do more Cuphead streams is uh, Dozer uh, from Xbit Gaming does Cuphead almost every day. Because uh, he's like a professional Cuphead player. He's like in the top 5% in the world or something. And, uh, you know, our friend, our brothers and sisters at Xbit... You know, they're kind of like a... They're not officially a sister page of ours, but, you know, they're a wonderful organization. We highly endorse them. And, uh, you know, kind of out of respect, since Doza is, is already doing Cuphead all the time, and since he's already better at it than what I am anyway, I usually don't touch uh, Cuphead all that much. Although I will do a Cuphead stream again one day as a special thing. But uh, when Cuphead 2 comes out, I'll definitely be giving that a try. Yeah, Dozer's awesome. I had the pleasure of meeting him last year, too. We haven't caught up in a while. Yeah, love, love the whole team. As I said, part of the reason that I blew up as much as I have uh, is because, you know, I had access to a lot of people back when I was part of the X-Bit team. So uh, I'm forever very grateful for that, you know. But Bond did a lot for me. We're, oh, we're going to just wait for this bullet. Oh, gosh. Come on. Oh, damn it. Well, that didn't really work out, did it? There we go. We got him. Captain BS says Cuphead is awesome. As I said, good to see you're still here, bro. I didn't realize you were still watching in the background. As I said, I'm definitely going to do some Cuphead again, for sure. All right. Now what's... Now what's going on? Should we go this way? I don't know which one way we should go. We do the, the car. I'd rather go the long way because the castle can be a big pain in the balls. So let's go this way. Hey, we got Roseanne in the business. Good to see you. Yeah, he's 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 a uh, he's a. Uh... Ah, oh, damn it! I went back over here. Sorry, everyone. That was really stupid. All right. Forgot to use the safe state. See, sometimes safe states do backfire on you. 
Pretty, pretty much, Justin, yeah. We're gonna go up here. Alright, there we go. We're gonna have a save handy. Alright, we got this. You're gonna love these auto-scroll squ levels, huh? At the end of the day, I think that's what's so awesome about the streaming world, guys. You know, like, uh... You know, sometimes we're looked at as, like... I don't want to say, like like celebrity status or anything but you know really we're just regular ordinary people like everyone else that like to play video games you know we're, we're no different to anyone and then Pharrell says so hungover you were very naughty last night okay bro tell me the bits that are PG rated <laughs> Carl says you've got a lot of uh, Div X movies you bought from Circuit City back in the day and you can't play them. I can't help you on that one, sorry man. Hopefully someone in the room can. And we got female gamer Alex over on YouTube. Welcome, welcome. I'm just going to make sure I concentrate here for a sec. As I said, I'm dying in this particular level because of my lack of multitasking ability. No, see, I just couldn't think, I don't like to use that word at all, I just didn't, I'm not a celebrity, I just couldn't think of a better, no, I just couldn't think of a better word to use, it's my lack of vocabulary that's going to get me in trouble. I didn't, I didn't, I, yeah, because I, I feel like if you use that word, it comes across as arrogant, and that's the last thing that I am. And, uh, but I'd love to meet you one of these days too, Brandon, you sound like a fun person to have a beer with. <laughs> Oh gosh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, we made it. Alright, so now where are we gonna go? As I said, I'm trying to avoid that little mini castle if I can. Alright, we're just gonna move on as normal here. Does anyone recognize uh, where, which games these levels are from at all by any chance? As I said, th for those of you who just came in, this is Mario 3 Mix. And uh, it pretty much, as I said, every level in this game is, uh, is from different Mario games put into the Mario 3 engine. So, you know, you've got like Mario Galaxy, Mario Sunshine, Mario World, all done in 2D in this game, which is what makes it so special. Hey, we got Church of Bacon in here. Good to see you. Female Gamer says you'd like to meet me in person one day. That'd be very nice, my friend. Well, thank you, Pharrell. You went to the deck at Frankston and drank a lot. The fact that you told me you were very, very naughty. No, 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 that's okay, Sean. As long as it's someone that's positive and a good influence on the community, you're more than welcome to. Um... Yeah, so, I mean, if you're telling me that you've been very norm naughty last night, Pharrell, what that tells me is that there was women involved. So, since I haven't seen a booby in a long time, I want to know every dirty detail. <laughs> no, I'm just messing. Oh, gosh. He is, he said, no worries, go for it. As I said, we like to, we like to share it. You know, there's more more streamers in the world than just one point only. We like to share positive people that do good streams. <clears throat> and uh, all right, there we go. We made it. Well, thank you, Brandon. I appreciate that. <laughs> Captain BS says those lion-like enemies are from Super Mario Land on Game Boy. That's right, they are too, aren't they? It's kind of like some of these levels are like a hybrid of... It's almost like some of these levels are like a hybrid of a couple different Mario games, I think. Sort of thing. Oh, shit balls. Ah, way to go, for real. I knew it, man. You can't... You can't... You, you went... Ah, damn! Sorry. Oh, this is freaking annoying. There we go. Come on, one coin. Come on, one coin. Come on. Come on, one coin, come on, come on. Only Aussies will get that reference. <laughs> oh, damn it! Fuck you! Alright, come on, one sec. 